It's what's hot in the health and wellness industry right now. Biotics, there's so many health benefits. Let's talk about some of the top ones. And this will heal your gut. Hey everyone, Dr. Nice here. Do you suffer from skin problems? So when I was struggling a lot with my gut health, I post this photo all the time. Many of you have asked me, what are the best probiotics to buy? So let's get into that. You've probably heard, but probiotics heal the gut. That's right. I'm talking about probiotics. You know, the things that improve digestion, reduce blow, cause you to lose weight, heal your gut, and well, really anything under the sun that makes you healthy. But what exactly are probiotics? According to the National Center for Complementary and Integrative Health, probiotics are live microorganisms that are intended to have health benefits when consumed or applied to the body. But here's the thing about probiotics. They aren't just in human health, they're also in the livestock industry too. Probiotics are grown in pure culture, often like this in medias and lab, where they're then centrifuged down and ground into powder form, which can then be added to feeds like this for our livestock production purposes. You may be asking yourself, what are these production purposes? Well, originally the livestock industry used antibiotics to inhibit microorganisms that had a negative impact on production parameters and gastrointestinal health. But in recent years, there's been increasing resistance in microbial populations to antibiotics, and this has caused widespread concern over their use in the livestock industry. And therefore, probiotics represent an alternative to antibiotics because they can achieve some of the same benefits that we get from antibiotics without some of the negative consequences attached to them. This shift of probiotics is pretty evident when you look at the market trends that are currently happening in the livestock feed industry. In 2018, the probiotic market share was valued at $3 billion, but by 2016, probiotic market share is projected to nearly double to $7 billion. Seeing these trends in probiotic use within the livestock industry is likely having you wonder whether or not you should include probiotics within your feeding program. Well, I'm going to bring up a few points that hopefully will help you address some of these questions. As a livestock producer, it's a good idea to orient yourself to what microorganisms are used as probiotics within the livestock industry. Two of the most common bacterial genuses used are lactobacillus and bifidobacterium, but you will also see the use of yeast and other fungi as probiotics. In fact, an example of a probiotic that's currently on the market is probios, which can be used for different livestock species. Remember those hoof combs I had at the beginning of the video? Well, those don't necessarily apply to livestock production, but we do want to focus on a couple other things, feed efficiency and pathogen shedding. Probiotics can have a positive impact on shifting end products produced during feedstuff degradation, which helps with improving our animals' feed efficiency. Another impact that they can have is help prevent colonization of pathogens within the gut, which, while some may have an impact on animal health, more importantly, helps prevent pathogens from entering into our food chain supply that cause foodborne illnesses. So this is a huge benefit to food safety. But it is important to note that probiotic impact varies widely based on the specific microorganism used and the environment in which it's utilized. And the last point that I would like to make is that really it all comes down to ones and zeros. And when we're talking about the livestock industry, we all know that feed costs make up the majority of expenses. And if we're going to use probiotics in our feed supplementation, we know that it's going to add to that cost. But what is that cost exactly? Well, in this example, I'm going to use a probiotic that's targeted towards calves in the pre-weaning phase. To use this product, it will cost $1.84 per head per day. But what does this cost really mean in the grand scheme of things? And can you make a profit off of it? Well, this cost would be worth it if we have two things that are gained by using it. The first being additional pounds gained during that phase by using this product. And the second is that if this product reduces disease incidence, we can also save money by not having to treat those calves during that pre-weaning phase. But really, whether or not probiotics are worth it, I believe, comes down to the producer, the kind of operation they're using, and what management practices they already have in place. Even though probiotic use is really dependent on who and how you're using it, 
I do think if you're considering an alternative to antibiotics, probiotics can be the next tool in helping us improve our production parameters and gastrointestinal health. Because as far as I can see in the livestock industry, gut health is never going out of style and probiotics are here to stick around. Thank you all for listening.